So this is where we're at with the Magneto. <clears throat> As you can see, um, inside of it, I mean, it's 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 pretty rough. The corrosion here, uh, there is a lot of surface rust on the on the magnet's side. Also, this shaft, unfortunately. Uh, as you can see here, it, this completely sheared off when I tried to when I tried to take this bolt off. I took the sprocket out, and then I also managed to to take the back the back cover out. Uh, but as you can see, it's pretty rough. Uh, it's still magnetized though, which is good. Uh, the bearings are more or less more or less okay they do got some there is some wobblish but i think they might be just about good enough so what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to put this in the blasting look it's strongly magnetized put this in the blasting cabinet <clears throat> and see uh, what, what it comes out with uh, and see if i can make this magneto uh, live again so hello and welcome to a uh, film mixologist um so today I'm going to make a video about what progress, <laughs> progress I will make you with the Magneto. And to say this has been a bit of a journey is probably an understatement. So as I've showed you in, in previous videos, uh, the router of the Magneto, this, this bolt completely broke off. So some chap gave me a really useful suggestion, said why don't you drill a hole in here and then use it to, to thread thread a bolt uh, through a hole rather than uh, through like a hex nut so that seems like a good idea so I put it in the in, in, in the pillar drill so drilled a, a hole uh, 4 mil 4.5 and then I, I I I with a tap I created a, an M5 um, an M5 thread uh, that now I'm going to be able to um, use it um, use it to secure the sprocket uh, which i'm gonna i'm gonna subject it to chemical uh, blacking so that it preserves and now i've 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 cleaned out uh, obviously the body is now super clean and i'm gonna now start lubricating uh, the bearing races and i'm trying to just commence the the assembly process uh, for this magneto and funny enough I've got no idea if it's gonna work um, but anyway I've got it kind of as clean as I possibly could um, and then I'll show you some some close-ups of of um, of where where I get to so after a bit of uh, I need a bit a little bit of persuasion but now finally we have got the the shaft and as you can see I mean that's a, the direction of rotation. I mean it it is it, it is very magnetic, obviously. So so the shaft is in place. I've I've greased the bearings. Um, this is how it's supposed to rotate. So actually, it's quite strongly magnetized. So I'm hoping that this thing's gonna work. Yeah, but there's only one way to find out, which is kind of putting it all together and. Yeah, try to make it work but obviously that's the subject for that's going to be the subject for another video okay so now i'm um inside the house um a because that's where I'm, i keep the magnet i'm gonna keep the magnet up for the winter and unfortunately i'm gonna to have to end the video here uh, and it's not gonna be a happy ending for the time being because um basically the magneto doesn't spark so i've i've, I've rebuilt it uh, put a new hd lead and obviously as you can see i'm, I'm getting no, no no electric shocks which i should be getting uh, and i'm gonna show you why the, there's a reason for that and it's the fact that the coil um that the coil is basically um, it's not working so you can see here this is this is the original coil that came with the magneto and it's probably 60 years old so I've got my tester here uh, and 
if I try to test this and this, any of the points here, here, I'm getting absolutely nothing. So basically, what happens, what happens is that the coil is um, is RIP, even though I've I've put up kind of brand new um, HT lead um, in this um, in, in this assembly, uh, and unfortunately, um, and also I set the points. I clean them up and I set them at the right um, at the right gap for them, but it's still I think it's uh, uh, I've got a problem that this coil is just it's just not good enough. So I'm gonna have to have somebody kind of rewind this coil. This coil is probably sixty years old, uh, thereabouts. So it's probably it's probably due uh, a bit of a refresh. So that that's it. That's what's gonna happen. So until I get no coil, until I get a new coil, I need to then kind of start this, um, start this again. So it's gonna be. So I'm gonna move on to other things, and 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 then I'll make a video about once I get this to run again.